Well, there have been five confirmed cases of coronavirus in the U.S. and other cases are still being tested and quarantined. The University of Nebraska Medical Center is teaming up with Nebraska Medicine to get ahead of the virus and other highly infectious diseases with a new quarantine center. Reporter Ruta Olsenida has more on the center and how it could help prevent the spread of infectious diseases locally and beyond. UNMC and Nebraska Med have partnered together to open their brand new facility that will help aid in highly infectious diseases like coronavirus. The new facility inside the Davis Global Center is designed in three parts. Education and training is one and then quarantine is a second and then really this will serve also uh, we have a nice facility that we're in right here right now that'll serve as sort of our emergency operations center. The 20 quarantine rooms will help aid people that need to be looked at and observed for infectious diseases. For example, American citizens that are now heading back to the states after the Wuhan outbreak. So quarantine is the care of persons who may have been exposed to a highly hazardous communicable disease but are not yet sick and so um, basically it's a glorified hotel room. A glorified hotel room with negative pressure to stop airborne spread and other emergency services. If the patient is then diagnosed with a highly infectious disease, they would be sent just across the street to UNMC's biocontainment unit that has previously successfully treated Ebola patients. And in fact, that's one of the reasons the federal government chose to fund this facility here in Omaha is because it is adjacent to our biocontainment unit. Now researchers and medical professionals are hopeful this center can be the future of quarantine and treatment for any diseases that may come about. And there are no cases of coronavirus in Nebraska at this time, but if there ever are. If our federal or state or local health partners ask us to respond, we're ready. Reporting in Omaha, Rudel Sinaida, 3 News Now. Training at the Center for First Responders will begin in March. The new Global Davis Center building is set to fully open April 21st.